Today we'll be making two burgers, one alkaline and one vegan. Let's get started. We're going to start by making our alkaline vegan buns and for that we'll need about two cups of white kamut flour. Add a quarter teaspoon of sea salt and mix. Add about two to four tablespoons of pure agave syrup. Since alkaline vegans don't use yeast or baking soda, we're going to be switching them out with one cup of sparkling water. Using your fingers, immediately start combining the wet and dry ingredients as soon as you add the sparkling water. Keep in mind that this bun is not going to be soft and it's going to be very dense. Once your dough is properly combined, roll it onto a floured working surface and start kneading. Knead the dough for about 10 to 12 minutes. Once you're done kneading, add a touch of avocado oil and roll it into a bowl. This will stop it from sticking and drying out. After rolling it into a bowl, place it on a working surface and cut it into two equal portions. Keep in mind that my measurements will make exactly two large buns. If you're looking to make more, double or triple the amount. Shape each dough into round buns and place them in a baking pan lined with some parchment paper. Now we're going to bake them at 360 degrees Fahrenheit for 30 to 35 minutes. Let's make our burger patty. To make our burger patty, we're going to be using about four king oyster mushrooms and we're going to be doing something I've never seen anyone do before. If you can't find these, you can also use trumpet mushrooms. To break down our mushrooms, we're going to be using a large grater. Grate the entire mushroom using the large grater. It took me a while to perfect this recipe, but I finally got it. So, fellow social media cooks and chefs out there, if you make this, don't forget to give your boy some credit, okay? Grate everything including the head and any large pieces that break off. Watch your hands and be careful. So, I just showed you the manual method and trust me, it's very tiring. If you're making this for more than 4 people, you're going to be extremely exhausted at the end. Add your grated mushrooms to a bowl and I'll show you a quicker method. If you're making this for a group of hungry lions, you're definitely going to need the grater from a food processor. Use the manual method if you don't have one. If your food processor has a chute like mine, you may have to split your mushrooms into two halves so they can fit into the chute. Push your mushroom half down the chute and use the chopping function. Use your tamper tool to push it all down the chute. Once you're done processing, pour it into a large bowl. This method produces longer strands, which isn't really ideal. Over here, I have about 9 or 10 medium sized portobello mushrooms, and we're going to grate them just like we grated the king oyster mushrooms. Remember, watch your fingers, especially with these ones. Check it out, it came out exactly as I expected. These were really easy to grate manually, so using a food processor will be an overkill. Add it to your grated king oyster mushrooms and I'll show you a really important step. It's very important to get rid of excess water, so add your grated mushrooms to a strainer and squeeze until all of the water is extracted. When you're done, set the water and the mushroom aside. Now, let's make our binder. In a large bowl, you want to add about half a cup of chickpea flour. Next, you want to add about half a cup of white kamut flour or any flours you have on hand. So, I'm going to be using some alkaline vegan spices. Vegans, adjust this to your taste. Add some sea salt to taste, then add 1 teaspoon of dried basil. Next, add 2 tablespoons of summer savory, 1 tablespoon of coriander, and 2 tablespoons of granulated onions. Finally, add 1 tablespoon of ground fennel seeds and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne pepper. Once you're done, whisk it all together. Next, you want to add about 1 cup of the water you squeezed out from the mushrooms earlier. Follow that with about 3 to 5 tablespoons of avocado oil. This option is for vegans, not alkaline vegans. If you want to, you could add 3 to 4 tablespoons of coconut aminos. 
When you're done, vigorously whisk it all together and when we get back, I'll show you the next step. Welcome back. The next step is to add all of your grated mushrooms to your batter and mix thoroughly. After mixing, we're going to set it aside and let it rest for 1-5 to five hours. Our alkaline vegan buns are ready. Here you go. As I mentioned earlier, these are not your typical buns. These buns are dense. The reason it's so dense is because of the lack of baking soda and leaving in agents. The exterior of the bread is quite tough but it's still very much edible. Let's cut into it and take a look. The first time I made this bun, it actually shocked me. I thought it would be worse than this and I was ready to scrap it but it came out looking really good. As you can see, the inside of the bun is not so bad. Yes, it's quite dense but it's also very delicious. Let's move on. Our grated mushrooms aka ground meat have been sitting for about 5 hours and they look really good. You don't have to wait that long. Next, you want to cut some parchment paper into rectangles or squares. These will stop your mushroom patties from sticking to the surface of the holding container and it will make it easier to lift up. Line a baking tray with your parchment paper, squares or rectangles. Once you're done, move it to the side. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, please hit the like button, it really helps the channel. Depending on how thick you like your burger patties, grab a portion of your grated mushrooms and form a ball. It's very easy. All you have to do is toss it from palm to palm while rotating it. Once you've formed a ball, squish it between your palms to form a thick disc and you get something like this. You're totally in control here. You can make it as thick or as thin as you want. The thinner it is, the quicker the cooking time. I know some of you weren't paying attention, so let's do it one more time for the people in the back. Remember, you're going to gently form a ball, then gently squish it together to form a disc, then you're done. That's just beautiful. I didn't add portobello mushrooms to all of the patties. That's why there's a variation in color. Stay tuned because there are several ways to cook these and I'll show you some of them right now. The first method is over the stove and in a grill pan. Add some avocado oil to a grill pan set to medium heat, then throw in your mushroom burger patty. Your oil should be hot before you throw in the patty. Press down with a turner and let it cook for 5 minutes. If you're using an air fryer, you want to set it to 390 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. Spray some oil over the top of your burger, place it in and start. On the grill, 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Back to the grill pan. After 5 minutes, you want to flip it over and let it cook for another 5 minutes. Over to the air fryer. After 10 minutes, you want to flip it over and let it cook for another 10 minutes at 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Back to the grill. Flip it and let it cook for another 10 minutes. If you want to, you could give your stovetop burger some extra char in the oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 minutes. If you're only using an oven and starting from scratch, cook it at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes per side. After a total of 10 minutes, your stovetop burger should be ready. If you want more, repeat the steps. toast our buns. Over here I have some sesame vegan buns. These aren't ideal for alkaline vegans. I'm going to toast everything in preparation for assembly. Place your buns face down into the grill pan for about 30 seconds and you should get something like this. Doing this will enhance the flavor of your buns. Let's move on to our burger toppings. Alkaline vegans, your only choice is to use plum tomatoes. Vegans, you can use any tomato of your choice. To save you some time, I'm not going to prep all of the toppings on the screen. I already prepped them in the background. We'll talk more about this as we go, but I have something really interesting to show you. Let's talk about these burgers before I show you something really interesting. As you can see, they hold together really nicely and they don't fall apart. Even when I flap them around, they still hold together. You can't do this with most bean burgers. If you try it, you end up picking up pieces from the floor. 
Anyway, it's time to show you my new technique for elevating the flavor and aroma of my burger patties. This is a smoker and today I'll be using some apple wood chips to add some major flavor and aroma to our burger patties. As a vegan or alkaline vegan, there's so much you can do with this product and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Basically all you have to do is add some chips into the smoker, feed the tube into the chamber, light it on fire and you're done. I let my burger smoke for 8 minutes and it was pure magic. If you're doing this, do it safely. Finally, let's assemble our vegan and alkaline vegan burgers. For my sauce, I'm going to be using my alkaline vegan everything sauce. I used this sauce in my taco video and if you'd like to learn how to make it, click on the link below. Add some sauce to the base of your buns and spread it around. For alkaline vegans, place one patty over the bun, then place another patty over the top of that patty. If you have vegan family members, you can actually use vegan cheese. This is not recommended for alkaline vegans. For vegans, place your cheese between your burger patties. You can melt it if you want. If you're raw alkaline vegan, I'm sorry, I can't help you. Moving on. Vegans, place any tomato slice on your burger patties. Alkaline vegans, you can only use plum tomato slices. Well, you can also use cherry tomatoes if that suits you. Vegans, you can add some red beet cabbage kraut over your tomato slices. Alkaline vegans, skip it. Next, we're going to add some of my alkaline vegan pickled onions over both burgers. If you want to learn how to make this, you can find the link to my video below. Tear off and place some pieces of romaine lettuce over both burgers. Spread some mashed avocado on the inside of your top bun. Finally, we're going to place some pickles over the mashed avocado. Alkaline vegans, you can make this too. Now we can seal the deal with the top buns. Check it out. Alkaline vegans, here's your burger. You can add whatever approved ingredients you want to add. I mean, it's up to you and how you like it. This is just a template for you to build upon. Now let's move on to our vegans. Oh, my lovely vegan subscribers. Here's your burger and I'm sorry I abandoned you. The alkaline vegan community needed me more, but I'm back. There's a lot of catching up to be done and I'm wasting no time. My work here is done. If you're alkaline vegan, I hope you enjoyed this burger because it's really good. And if you're vegan, there's a lot more you could do to this, but not today. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you all next week.